Welcome back, guys. It's Philip A. Croce with Nine Future Science at NineFutureScience.com. Today we're in Group F of the Movement Master Database, and this is the Rear Delt Fly. The Rear Delt Fly is a uh, it's a known one. It's popular, and it's a uh, it's a goodie. So let's just make sure we're technical in this one. Let's figure out our why, so we know how to derive our how. So our why is to make sure that we have some uh, some posterior support in terms of keeping our scapulae up against our thoracic cavity as we move through every plane of motion, right? That's our, that's our why. Uh, our, in addition to our why, we want to be able to come to this uh, horizontal adduction without it being dominated by our traps, our rumboids, and our lats. We've got to be able to move at this rebel. And I'm glad we talked about that, right? Because when we're thinking about that particular why, that is where, that's where I'm seeing most people go wrong, way wrong. And it's because you, you want to go up and wait too fast. Now remember, that there's, there's two reasons to, uh, there's a few reasons to change your, your weight, right? It, it, it's based off the specificity of the adaptation. Are you going for hypertrophy, right? Uh, are you trying to enact some level of hyperplasia? Uh, you know, it's just depending on what what it, what type of uh, what type of cellular adaptation that we want. Uh, that, that that's what's going to determine how we're moving and changing this weight. Don't forget that that weight is relative. Or mass is always going to be the same, but mass doesn't weigh the same everywhere you go. It's relative to the the force of uh, on Earth gravity. Uh, but it is relative to the force of which is being acted upon it, you know? So if we just kind of take a, a step into fundamental physics, uh, that makes a lot of sense. And, and it needs to make sense because the reason why I bring it up is because gravity is vertical. So we got to understand how to integrate vertically into gravity. And the way we do that is by nullifying any horizontal angles, right? So. Right now, as I come up, these weights are falling in the direction in which they want to fall. And because they're attached to my hands, my arms are also doing the same thing. The weights are an extension of the lever, which, which is my arm. If I'm holding it here, I've now provided a horizontal component. If I'm holding it here, same thing. That means I'm, I'm overactive in one of my muscles. I'm not allowing them to, to be relaxed. So first thing I did here, I would create as much space as this rear delt that, that I could with the posterior aspect of the uh, humeral joint. Now, I'm pushing down into gravity, straight down, vertically. And as I'm pushing, I'm starting to move up into the transverse plane through the corona. Because the weight is not overpowering me, I can work from origin to insertion of this muscle. Notice I'm also internally rotating to really get the most out of this angle. That's not the only way you can do it. You can rotate as you go up. You can even come around eccentrically. But for here, the flies, internally rotated, pushing out, working from origin to insertion. Now that's three pounds. Three pounds of bliss and fun and sun. And uh, now, Now I'm here, now I'm home. Now it's, things feel a little bit different up here, you know? I don't have to contract my muscle go hard because I'm in the right position. I'm in the right position to contract. The length of the muscle is at its optimal mechanical tension to do work. This is positive work. Whew, some tingles. It's not like magic, because it is magic. Eternally rhetorical, how do you move? 
see you next time.